Hello, team darling. So I'll first start with you. I know it's a word that you've gotten used to, but I'll have to say it again. Congratulations. Thank you. And I know six is your lucky number. So I'm going to list out six things that I need to congratulate you on because a lot has changed since we last met. The wedding, two blockbusters, a decade in the industry, your first Hollywood film, turning producer, and Mamma Mia. <laughs> so what's your state of mind? Eternal sunshine of... Yes, actually, that's a great answer. Because yeah. now I'm going to start using this everywhere. Yeah. My <laughs> state of mind is eternal sunshine. It's but, what it is. But honestly, Alia, how does it feel like, you know, so much has happened. Can we designate 2022 as Alia's year? As Vijay rightly said. Famously said. Famously, famously said. 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 <laughs> Chinese calendar, but this will be like 2022. Oh, Alia's I don't mind taking the year. <laughs> it's always good to take a year and um, no better year than this one. No, but in all honesty, um, I'm extremely thrilled, extremely excited. I think um, there's a lot of firsts that I've experienced this year. Mm. Um, you know, my first um, film with Sanjilila Bansali, my first film with Raja Mawli, uh, my first wedding. <laughs> first, <laughs> my first and last wedding. Um, you know, my first Hollywood film, my first film as a producer is uh, is out and uh, my first time being a mommy. Exactly. So yeah, a lot of firsts and a lot of fingers crossed, a lot of touching wood and very, very grateful and uh, yeah, looking forward to many such more beautiful years. And for the last one, I'll say many more to come. Many more to come. <laughs> many more firsts to come. Yeah, whatever. We'll see. <laughs> okay, now coming to darling, I'll start first with your character, Badru. She comes across as someone so innocent. Yeah. That Kabhi kabhi lagta hai usko aise karo ki like badru wake up ki kya ho raha hai but then you see this very menacing streak also but then also gets overshadowed with a conscience so what was it like to get under the mind space of this person who's actually very straight very simple i actually really enjoy playing a character or a personality with which has so many layers and so many facets to their personality in just one film i mean a film is only what two hours huh. plus whatever but you're, you're able when you're able to portray so many such shades and discover so many layers within that time span it's very exciting hmm. and it's very juicy yeah you're yeah you're right she's extremely innocent and sometimes to the point of being naive possibly um but the feeling that you feel of like maybe wanting to shake her up i also felt that maybe when i heard the script or when i read the script but i think that's a great feeling that means the light writing is leading you in the right direction um, and of course, with all the beats that she goes through in the film and all the hard decisions that she has to take or all the situations that she has to deal with and maybe the kind of person that she becomes, yeah. basically you're saying that it can happen to the best of us. Absolutely. You know, I don't think there's any saying that where anyone is black or white. You know, we are all, we all have shades of grey and it's, it's actually who we choose to be on a daily basis hmm. is the person we really truly become we have a choice to go either way now it depends on the choice that you take and i think that's what's extremely interesting about a character like Batru. absolutely and shifali your character as you rightly called her she's a cracker and i was just reading comments which said they want to start an online petition that shifali shah should be working in more dark comedies <laughs> yes. yeah. wow. so, and i know you've been very particular about the kind of narratives and characters that you want to play on even saying no to many many so what was it about when they came to you with her saying yes to playing her? She's the opposite, opposite. of uh, Badru in many ways. Uh, Ma, but she's also been through so much yeah. without giving out any spoilers. Yeah. So uh, the script was brilliant. I mean, I fell in love with the script. Uh, I think Shamshu is such a cracker, like I've said earlier. Uh, she's, in fact, she's very close to who I am as a person. And that's a side which we haven't explored yeah. or I haven't had the opportunity to explore as an actor. Hmm. Uh, I just, I loved it. So it was really a no-brainer. You know, I read the script, I spoke to Jess and I was like, yeah, okay, I'm doing this. Wow, lovely. And talking to Jess, having such amazing talent, did your job become easy? Definitely. <laughs> also tougher because it pushes you to do better. You write... Uh, characters, well-rounded yeah. characters and then you know that these amazing people can take it to the next level and your job as a director is to get the best out of them yeah, and, I, uh, and, and go with the process they want to follow. So it is amazing. I'm I mean it was just simple, I mean there would be just one take and everyone perfect. No, 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 no,
It's never like that. <laughs> no, but no, it's a you, creative process. So it's, it's, it's different every day, which, is, which makes it more exciting. Well, so to ask you, because this is a serious <coughs> topic that we yeah. need to talk about, but also has a touch of humor to it. Yeah. What, I mean, was there something that you'd heard that wanted you to tell the story and earlier for you to produce this particular narrative? This is to the two of you. Yeah, so uh, you go through so many experiences, you see so much going happening around you. I think all of it comes together and you join the dots when you're writing something like that. But about this subject, I wanted to talk about it, but in a very entertaining and yeah. engaging way. Because I think films should entertain and engage. And uh, our job is not to change the world, but to start a conversation. Gee. So it was, al it was always a comedy in my head. Even the one line story was about a mother daughter trying to set the daughter's marriage on track. And they come up with bizarre ways to do it because yeah. the daughter's in love with the husband. The husband also actually truly, madly, deeply loves her. So how do they set it straight because of that one problem that they have? So it's already a comedy in that sense. And when I went to Alia, I think that's what I also told her that, listen, there is a message. Uh, which is representing this society that we are talking about, but uh, we want to entertain and engage, and I think she liked that a lot. So, yeah. Yeah, I think I agree. The fact that she said that you, you're not trying to change the world, but of course you're trying to maybe impact some minds, thoughts, yeah. start a conversation, but what is the point of doing that in a very dry sort of mm. empty, mm -hmm. empty is the wrong word, very dry kind of flat way. I mean, then one would just write an article or write a, this thing, you're getting only information out there. Here, you're not needing to do that. You're, you're, you're a part of a s cinema, cinematic experience. So you need to kind of layer it with something which is beyond just that, maybe that one message. True. Um, and which is what I, I enjoyed as an audience when I heard the narration, I was, involved and intrigued and engaged as an audience Absolutely. first true um, and then I and that's the way I choose all my movies that how does it stir me as an audience true and then you think about like okay my role as an actor my role as a this my role as a that true. and now coming to Vijay Aapka Darlings which the audience will watch has got another connotation now but what was it like to get under the mind space of your character who's actually you know tormenting as you said the national sweetheart <laughs> Uh, it was it was a bit of a trek huh. to reach this character, but I very happily had to take it, and I had great support from Jasmeet on my journey. She trekked along with me. Yes. And uh, I feel like characters like these exist, mm -hmm. and I feel like when we show them nicely on screen, it kind of uh, makes them available to be seen for people to identify with or people to see if there is a traces of these kind of personalities in people around them or whatever. So cinema acts as a medium to kind of show a mirror to the society. I feel like this character when I had to approach this, the one thing that is required of an actor is the seriousness of the subject was such that we have to do a very honest job with this uh, without without trying to make it funny, without trying to, you know, go soft. Uh, so we, the idea was to hit it as hard as we can and, uh, and not hold back. So I'm up for a challenge like that. Awesome. He was like, you're brilliant. I mean, all of you. And Roshan, now coming to you, your character actually is the best kept secret. <laughs> and I will actually wonder, who is on side mein hai, ma ke ya beti ke? <laughs> so I mean, so when they came to you, what? was it that made you say yes? I mean, definitely when you have such amazing talent, that is a no-brainer, but as an yeah, actor. So that was one of the reasons, obviously, but I found that out later after I read the script. I had no idea who were going to play these characters. I read the script and I loved it. I, it was, like Ali said, it was extremely entertaining. I loved reading it. Um, I haven't, in like if you look at the films I've done in Malayalam also, I haven't been able to do too many comedies. And that's something I've been looking to try out. Uh, so that excited me, um, just the text itself excited me, I thought Zulfi was a beautiful character mm. um, and then I heard that this was going to be the cast. So. Awesome, and <laughs> imagine the comedy, all of you so straight faced and the audience is also laughing and also want to say like, Ho kya hai? What was the, that must have been tough isn't it? Like, they, I mean were you when reading the script and saying like, oh really and acting it out, what was that play like? So. Uh, See these people, you know, like when you're doing something, these characters and the situation is funny. Yeah. 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 
but it's very serious for them yeah, yeah. so and also i believe that when you have a great line you don't deliver it as a punch line yeah. yeah you just let it go because it's good enough it's rich enough so it's they are all just behaving like real themselves, themselves. Yeah. and i think that is very entertaining but as actors while we were doing it there were days where you used to be, it used like we could have wrapped up two hours before if we weren't just laughing so much <laughs> yeah. cracking up like yeah. you know so um Uh, and i think the chemistry of everyone yes yeah, was awesome. just it just <laughs> fell into place so it was like you know everything just came together so it was like it for me it was a great ride wow it was insane it was fun and uh, yeah i don't even know if i answered your question no you did like, <laughs> you did like there's a scene if you've seen the, the film question? right yeah. on the terrace <laughs> it's raining very hectic a lot of <laughs> lot of heightened oh, emotions yeah, so and a lot of people speaking so at the same much. time oh my god it's a like, distress Yeah, couldn't Someone. stop laughing. No, also because it was a really long day. Could not stop yeah. laughing. I remember we had gone over, like we were like shooting. I think when we were on our six, for fifteenth hour of shoot or something. Barish, 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 Barish. It was chef's last day. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Barish, we were all sitting in the kitchen. And he's cutting. And he's tied up. He's tied up. Yeah. Like, we yeah. were deliriously yeah. laughing. Yeah, we, we reached delirium. What yeah. are we laughing about? I can't remember. I have no idea. Now. No, 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 we were rehearsing on very high energy, and no, then we were just cracking up. <laughs> no, there was also <laughs> <on> that moment <laughs> when you're stressed and you're tired, and you just crack up. <laughs> no, there was also that moment where. <laughs> awesome. just basically just losing just we lost the plot awesome. it was awesome. so much fun and i can imagine it's like that <laughs> but alia turning producer did anyone tell you ki abhi you're a little too young to take on that added responsibility and also what was the one thing about turning producer you didn't anticipate well i'm the oldest i've ever been this <laughs> <laughs> is a very good one <laughs> good one <laughs> so um, actually no nobody ever said that to me in fact people were like yeah you should then you know very supportive and excited about it um or aise kuch added pressure ya layer i mean i don't know abhi to wo wala situation nahi hua hai mere liye and i don't think i'm going to be that kind of producer as well i just i'm more of a creative producer um uh, so i am actually not thinking about the logistical part of it because if i do then yeah probably i will be like <laughs> like you know like on the phone and like you know like walk pacing up and down and being that but i am a creative person yeah um so thankfully you know uh, co-producing with red chilies as the my first time as a producer was a dream because they handled everything and so i could focus on the creative well but uh, that's what i mean for somebody who's on the radar of all producers wanting to take on that responsibility it's amazing what you're producing so what kind of movies and narratives do you want to helm going forward Is it anything different from the kind of movies you would be acting in and our approach? No, with? I don't think so. Again, I like I said, I choose content as an audience, and I think I just want to tell movies that touch touch your heart. You know, जो दिल को छू जाए that kind of feeling. So it should just feel lovely. Like there's a feeling I feel after watching a lovely movie, and it just you know keeps a smile on my face for like a really long time. I wake up thinking about it. It stays with me. I remember lines. I remember dialogues. I love the fact that movies can do that to you. So that's what I do want to do with the content, and I'm not just, you know, movies. I want to also produce like TV shows and stuff like that, um, podcasts, whatever it is. Wow, Matlab, amazing! जो आपको दिल को छू जाए जो like that जिसका कुछ meaning है, I would I would like to get into content like that, yeah. And also to Shafali, and you know, Shafali has spoken about this a lot, and this is the first time I saw you react. People want to know. This is the first time I saw you react. when you know you announced your pregnancy instead of applauding the fact that she's shooting a first action film yeah. while expecting a baby there was thing about like oh she her husband's going there to get her back her movies are going to be stalled yeah. was it something that really irked you yeah because i feel like it's a section of like a certain mainstream media um conversation which i think is extremely jaded and dated and archaic and regressive and all those words that we are trying to run away, run away from so in the garb of writing a positive article if you're going to actually be saying that oh a woman's life is now totally going to go topsy turvy 
um, that's a bit unfair. I mean, you're not saying that about the man. The man is also having a child. So why are you saying that only about Absolutely. the woman? So um, I think the reason, only reason I reacted was because it was it was going for a hardcore commentary on on like um, the feminist ins inside me woke up with uh, all knives <laughs> and all guns blazing because I was like, listen, it's not about me personally. You can say whatever the hell you want about me. I don't give a shit. But this, sorry, pardon my French, but I really don't give a damn. But if you like, um, if you're making a hardcore commentary on a woman in general, who's actually been working since the beginning of my pregnancy. Like, I didn't stop working. Absolutely. I was at it, like, 24-7. So, um, I think that's what pissed me off. And the fact that I don't respond also made it, like, a little bit clear that the fact that I have means that... Hey. Hai ab. <laughs> <laughs> but Shifali, this was a conversation we had. Like, you said, after kids, they say, Shadi ho gai, khatam. She's expecting, ab, iska bhi kar. You think this has not changed, our mindsets haven't changed. No, I'm sure it's changed. <laughs> it's changed, but, yeah. Yeah, it has changed, but for it to expect it to drastically change is a little... Also, you know, PD there, PD, there is a set mind. It's like, ingrained in us. It's in ingrained. Yeah. That uh, one to, that one, that a woman is, her job is to be at home and look after the house and look after children. Then it was like, Acha, she can work, but you have to prioritize your house. And then, of course, when you have kids, First, you have to have kids. Yeah. Who are you to tell kids you should have kids? And right. then after you've had kids, that's it. Khatam. Khatam. Which is, it's like, and honestly, I feel, you feel like that brilliant. Awesome. I mean, what else can you say? But the good thing is, in our narratives, it's changing. The kind of roles, I'm sure the men feel a little insecure now because I think the better roles are being written for the women now. What, what could be the insecurity there? It's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. You yeah. always yeah. say that, the, the ladies would be fillers. We are not there. Now we are here. Awesome. I think actors are insecure ke. by nature, but this is not a reason to be insecure. Awesome. That's no, and in fact, I feel that we are not saying that it's only for us. We are just saying that it's equal. Karo. Like, it's I not agree. like we, we want a world of equality. We don't want any. It shouldn't go either way. It shouldn't be tilting towards either yeah. way. You know, it's it should be one up and shit. Yeah, it's not one up and And that's it. We need to. And, uh, but darling, say we know. It's all women empowerment, women in power, amazing film, more power to you. And go, go, tell me, you 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 will have to watch the movie to know what we are talking about. <laughs> no, like actually whenever moments would like this happen on set, when we were laughing behind the scenes, I was going to do that and then it happened and then it happened. And our favourite moment when they were yeah. yeah. running into the oh house, God. that's our favourite moment. So, yeah, all of that. <laughs> but with two brilliant people at home, do you discuss work or no? Movies are not discussed. Thoda bot, but it's not like, it doesn't take up 90% of our conversation at all. Awesome. Anyways, many congratulations and, and our people will wonder Raman Kaka wala kya scene hai? <laughs> kya Alia ye enact kar di thi ghar pe? Well, for that you'll have to watch the movie and all the very best, more power and many, many congratulations to Thank all of you. So Thank, you so Thank you so much. Thank you. And you extra? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much.